Welcome to ADNet Technology presentation for GE Pond products and applications. This is the first part of the presentation dedicated to our GE Pond network range and will explain you in detail why you should choose the Pond products which stands for the abbreviation Passive Optical Network and what are the main benefits of the technology. There will be many parts of the presentation to be covered. This is the most first part and this is a basic introduction. In this part, we will cover the following topics. The old way of the thinking, DSL and fiber to the curb. What are the most drawbacks of using such of the technologies? The next, we will cover the main benefits of the PON idea. So, the why should you use the passive optical network and what are the most benefits of that? Bandwidth demand and of projections. So, we will cover in more deep why you should switch to the fiber to the home technologies and what it gives you in terms of the of the bandwidth and then we will go next to the Actes technologies comparison you will see what speeds it does have and what distances you can cover using the various of the technologies which are available now in the market so let's start with the old idea of DSL so what we have before we have the CO with the DSLAMs then you should have the copper cable to be installed and then as you can see we have uh, the, the subscribers and, and every of the subscribers are using one of the uh, copper cables so what does it mean? it means one pair of the copper per user it means distance of 5 kilometers only and the speed is less than 10 megabits so that means you cannot provide any IPTV you cannot provide any new generation services no triple play is possible all you can do is the poor quality VOIP and actually the TV services already doesn't work so if you are the operator who wants to offer the, the triple play services so actually the DSL is already outdated technology now the next you can ask so okay why not use the fiber to the building or, or let's say uh, fiber to the curb technology when when you install the fiber equipment in the curb let's say here and then install the LAN cables like UTP cable e to each of the buildings so let's see uh, what happens here you have active equipment needed at the curb and actually each bunch of the houses will need such one of the curb switches so you have already two layer network and each of them actually you need a power supply so each of them is depending on a power supply and you should install it in the places which are not actually uh, with, uh, in, in some of the places which you can control it's usually installed out of the control places so usually that place gets power off and what you get is the no service at any of those customers so only one place of your network is getting out of the power and you have no service at any of those buildings you can get the 100 buildings out of the power and you can get the call to the support and you know what it happens the hotline is busy and you are getting the angry customers and you are getting out of the service and you are getting the, the bad months you are sending out the support engineer to the curb you can just imagine what happens if you have a two or three switches out of the service you have the half of your network down so the most benefit of the PON networks the passive optical networks are that there is one network management support for all your network and actually the passive optical networks just don't need maintenance at all the only active equipment are OLT we will cover this topic in more details in our following presentations that it's just active equipment at, at your CO and just active equipment at the customer's flat and if the customer equipment goes down you have a problem just with one customer so your maintenance costs just going down dramatically so here the splitter we will cover this topic more more detail later you can see that's the splitter and that splitter it's totally passive and you no need power at all access technology comparison you can see we have highlighted here that it, it probably doesn't seem very clear here in a, in a video but actually you can see that uh, the FTTX what means fiber to the home have 
uh, more than one gigabit per user and actually you have a plenty space for, for the growth and that's you can see this is a source from the light reading and informatics research by 2012 every of the customers will need already 100 megabit at home and that means you should have the network totally prepared for the bandwidth demand if it's if it's just DSL or if it's fiber to the uh, building like you are like most of the uh, operators are doing now actually they are not prepared for the for the bandwidth demand growth so high high bandwidth is needed actually for new applications like VOIP e-learning online gaming HDTV MIOD for example SDTV takes two to five megabit just at IP level and uh, and the streaming audio will run run at 380 kilobits per second and the pictures can run at one megabit compressed so actually everything is consuming the, the bandwidth and then you should have prepared for the services who will consume more and more bandwidth so FTTX will be ultimate solution for access it will give enormous bandwidth flexible to upgrade fast installation symmetrical bandwidth to boost sides actually what DSL doesn't have uh, uplink is, is less speed reduced OPEX expanding and the characters of the fiber as you know are immune for electromagnetic interference security and long long transport distance here you can see the example of the Japan FTTH market. For example, uh, NTT announced 47 billion US dollar investment in FTTH to target to reach the 30 million buildings and homes by 2010. Actually, that's only the reason to think that uh, there is some future in this technology. This is the basic things what you should know at, in the glance why FTTH is better and why FTTH is good. For any questions to get the answers right now, visit adnet.com website. And you can be sure that soon the part 2 is coming up where we will cover more hot topics about this technology. Stay tuned.